Welcome to the agent program in the sheet. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Hardly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. How's it going, gamers? Another day, another video, and in this one... We're going to be uh, starting a playlist uh, of quite a few videos starring the legend himself, Agent 47. This is a playlist that should have been on the channel a hell of a long time ago. Um, I've just been busy with other things really and it's just something I've never really settled down and managed to pull off. Um, but I've been playing Hitman games since PlayStation 2 era. Um, Hitman 2 and Hitman Contracts, I really got into them games. I, I guess it was because of, you know, playing Tenchu Stealth Assassin and getting into that, as well as, like, Ghost Recon, um, Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid, you know, tactical espionage style stealth games. That really drew me in to the world of Agent 47, and it's a really dark and seedy, horrible underworld that he lives in. Um, basically, I don't want to get into too much of it, but. Agent 47 is an assassin. Um, he's been through some hell in his past. Yeah, some real hell. Like, from the moment he came into this world, shall I put it? Um, growing up, he wasn't, you know, he was never, he never had a loving family or anything like that. His, his childhood was very, very cold. You know, he grew up in a facility with others like him, and they were conditioned into becoming elite super soldiers. These guys are like Olympians on ultra freaking next level steroids. They're unbelievable. Um, he ended up escaping since then. He was been wandering from place to place and finding you know contracts here and there and doing what he was trained and born to do or created to do should I say. Um, somewhere along the line either he has discovered or he's been approached by the International Contract Agency. And as they do with all the recruits, they end up putting them in a live simulation 
of an assassination that took place many years ago. This is on a mock-up ship, a yacht that was originally docked somewhere in Sydney when the assassination went down. Here it's been recreated at the ICA facility. We're in a massive silo, part of um, this complex and uh, we're being basically tested to see how we approach this. Calvin Ritter, our target back in the day, he used to be part of the uh, London Yardy Birds, or Yardbirds as they're called, and uh, he was a cat burglar, pretty decent one, he was very very good at what he did. He liked art, he was like a magpie this guy, he liked very very shiny things. I don't know how that feels. And um, he liked to steal it and sell it to the highest bidders. He'd get commissioned to steal certain art pieces and so on and so forth, but Calvin saw the writing on the wall. So our technology was becoming more and more um, improved, should, you, should we say. And um, he decided, because of uh, some convincing from those close to him, it's time to retire. Unfortunately, Calvin uh, stole a piece of artwork that he was commissioned to steal and it turned out to be a fake. And the person who uh, employed him to steal this piece of artwork is so unhappy with him to the point he's put a contract out on him via the ICA and he was eliminated. So he kind of got the early retirement he was hoping for, just not, you know, just not the way he thought he was going to. But, um, yeah, obviously we're in a recreation of that hit. I really do love the way they've put this, this game, this, this, so far, um, this game and its sequel, I really do love the way they've put them together. They are so immersive, it's unbelievable. It does have its problems now and again, especially if you've got, um, you know, a device that overheats. Um, so you, you get some overheating problems with your PlayStation or whatever that can seriously affect how the game plays. So just make sure you know if you whatever you're using, it's cleaned out. You know, you've got no problems with it. Who's this guy talking to? <laughs> you what? Man? I'll pull your arms off. Store, bro. But anyway, yeah, so um, they have some really great deals on like Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam for when it comes to playing this game. You can find free packs here and there. You know, like you, you see a few videos, you're not too sure yourself. You know, you want to play it yourself, see what it's like. You've got some starter packs there, uh, some free missions, and that. Like, I know you can play this ICA facility, um, the first test, second test. And your final test, you can play all that for free. And if you do end up buying Hitman, or your save progress carries over as well. It's really, honestly, I mean, I'm a fan. I'm a fanatic when it comes to freaking Agent 47. Hitman, I ended up getting Hitman. I bought a, a crappy laptop back in the day. Uh, Blood, this is like when Blood Money were out. And I ended up getting a crappy laptop with crappy specs just to buy Hitman. I got Hitman for like two quid or something on PC and then I realised as I were playing it Hitman Contracts is a remaster of the game I'm playing right now I've done all this but on a better version <laughs> I was gutted but at least you know I got to play it and I had, I have, I've still got it now uh, the original one but um, I really do enjoy these games I think Absolution has to be the weakest in the series but it's still I still think it's a really really good game um, they got what's his name now? Is it? Oh, what's his name? Summit Powers. Can I offer you a drink? Oh no, thank you. Oh, what was his name now? He's got a really unusual name. He's been in a hell of a lot of brilliant films. But uh, yeah, they got him in as a voice actor for one of the ICA um, like higher ups and that. Brilliant. I liked it. I really did. Uh, the story was all right as well, but it was a bit eh, because they started to give Agent Forty Seven a conscience, and with him. With him being what he is, he hasn't got one. There's no empathy whatsoever. He has a crazy relationship with his handler, Diana Burnwood, and that's about it. 
there's nobody out there who's cold as ice with everybody else out there. He's even cold with Diana, do you know what I mean? She sort of understands him over the years and all that, but she'll never underestimate him. It's, it's crazy. Well, well, these two are so getting ready now. Got the blueprints. Most impressive. It's the man from Del Monte. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. <laughs> 50 years. It's time. Nap time, buddy. I've got a challenge where I'm supposed to disguise myself as that guy, Mr. Norfolk. Well, Mr. Well, there's loads of people down there. I have to tell you, I, I don't want to risk I it. I've just pulled my contract off, so we'll just leave it at that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you keep telling us all about it. Pretend we're still here, we're going to get off. Right, we've got the car or the boat. Let's get to the bottom. Wait a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a chopper on the roof. There we go. Mission accomplished. And we've still got our silent again, assassin icon. So. This exercise <laughs> is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. So that's that, right. Next up, we're going to end up with our final test uh, for the International Contract Agency. All of these hits, we're going to try and pull off with the Silent Assassin uh, rank. I want to try and get my XP right up. I've played most of these levels before. Um, the only There's only a few in... Uh, well, actually, there's most of the... Uh, Hitman 2 levels I'm not really bothered with, so it's going to be a learning curve for me on that one, but at the end of the day I'll just approach them the way I do with all of them. So anyway, that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do don't forget you can hit that like button, and um, don't forget you can also subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, select all, you'll get notifications from YouTube every time one of our videos goes live. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, good gaming out there.